Alright, so a massive argon gas and 75 milliliters of STP. Uh, do you have any ideas where we would start here? Definitely a gas law problem. You see gas, that's the one clue. The other clue is you see the words STP, usually indicates a gas law problem. You want to ask yourself, is there a change? Like, does anything change here? That's your key question. Volume change, pressure change, you don't see anything. It's constant. So if, there's, if there was change, I'd go combined gas law. If there's no change, you want to go ideal gas law. It's not a partial pressure problem because there's only one gas. So it can't be partial pressure. Uh, there's no velocity, there's no root mean square, there's no kinetic energy, no, no Graham's law possible. So the only thing possible is ideal gas law. So we'll go PV equals MRT. Well, let's see what we have. We have volume, that's 75 milliliters, or 0 0.075 liters. When you're using ideal gas law, you want the volume in liters. Uh, we'll do R, we've got that one, 0 0.08206 liters of atmospheres per mole Kelvin. Okay, that's good. Temperature. Well, you have the temperature hidden in STP. What's the temperature STP? Zero Celsius, which equals... Yeah, well, like... Uh, will be really fancy and put all five decimals down. But you could just put 273. To me, it doesn't matter. Uh, because, see, this one only has three sig figs, the 75. So you really only need three, or if you want to put the fourth one, you can too. Okay, that's T. P? Is it at 1 ATM? 1 ATM, you got it. That you need to know. STP, you need to know what that means. Okay, N... What the heck? I want mass. So do we change it to mass? You got it. So I'm just going to solve for n right now and then convert it to mass. And there's my problem. So it's PV over RT. P, one atmosphere. The volume, 0 0.0750 liters. R, 0 0.08206 liters atmospheres per mole Kelvin uh, times T, 273.15 Kelvin. And then after you get this number, whatever that is, you're going to take this and multiply by the molar mass to get grams. 40. 40. Well, since we're being all precise here, I'll go to 39.95. But normally I just use 40 grams per mole. And that'll convert moles to grams. Is that okay for the first one?